Hey everybody! Now we're really going to go behind the scenes today to check out Kent and his natural environment. The bowling alley. That was a good game. I'm here with Kent, post bowling, and uh, we're just relaxing, chilling out. So, professional bowler, when you're not bowling, I hear you write for animation. Yes. Okay. Can yes. You, can you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? Sure. Your history? I started working in animation in um, uh, the year 2000. My first job was on SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. And then for the past uh, three years, I've been working uh, as a story editor and a storyboard director and a voice director on uh, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, cool. which is on Cartoon Network, and it's an excellent show. And then uh, recently I've been working on a show called Adventure Time, which is Penn Mord's uh, new show that's coming on Cartoon Network. It's going to be like the next big big show. It's for... Whoa. Before you started working for SpongeBob, yeah. how were you a writer before? What types of things were you writing? I was. Um, I was a joke writer. I was a joke writer for Rob nice. Schneider. That was my first job. I was kind of his bitch. Like, I just kind of follow him around with a notepad. Yeah. So I did that for a couple of years, and then I hosted a TV show, a movie oh. show called The Movie Lounge on TBS. Uh, and then I got SpongeBob. So, cool. Yeah. Well, let's, let's get back to Flapjack. Tell us more <laughs> about, like, the process that, um, that you've been involved with for that. Because you, you wear a lot of different hats. Yeah, and I was um, a story editor, um, which means I run the writer's room and write, oh, wow. uh, generate outlines that get used to uh, turn into storyboards. So it's not a script-driven show, it's a storyboard-driven show. And then the second season, I directed the actors, too. Wow, that must be an amazing experience. Yeah, it was great. How do you, maybe you could try like directing directing me, and like we could yeah? see how okay. that goes. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Um, Just have fun with it. This bowling league is amazing! I can't wait until we do it again! Ah, oh, that was great. Uh, just do it again for safety. <laughs> this bowling league is amazing! I can't wait until we do it again! Ah, oh, that was great. Uh, this time just hit the word, um, wait. So I can't wait until we do it again. This bowling league is amazing! Oh, I can't wait until we do it again! Ah, oh, that was great. Moving on. <laughs> that's it. That's all you have to do. This is the button that yeah, that's the button you push so oh, okay. you can talk to the actors. Cool. So, um, in terms of the difference between a story, like a script-driven show and a storyboard-driven show, can you explain the difference between those two? Sure. Uh, well, the, like The Simpsons is uh, script-driven. So they write a script and then the story artists are, mm -hmm. they're boarding off of a script. So it has all the dialogue. It has, a lot of times it has the camera movements and stuff like that. An outline-driven show or a board-driven show, uh, like SpongeBob or Powerpuff or uh, Ren and Stimpy or Flapjack, um, that's just a, you have a three-page uh, outline that just says uh, basically just what, what's going on, like what happens, like this happens and this happens, and it just kind of has this lists all the, the beats and the act breaks. And, and then it's kind of, <clears throat> it's up to the story artist to determine you know, how they're going to stage it and what, what they write all the jokes and they write all the dialogue and um, and it, usually a lot of times it'll, you know, it'll just say like, you know, in this beat, um, you know, Flapjack uh, gets very frustrated that he can't do this and so then it's up to the story artist, like, well, how are we going to, how are we going to execute yeah. that? Yeah, so. Cool. So yeah. what, what do you think is like your favorite part of your job? Um, just, just getting to work on cartoons. Mm -hmm. The people who work in cartoons are really fun and so it's kind of a fun fun job yeah and then you know um, writing or you know just doing something that ends up like a year later it's on TV that's pretty cool and then meeting people who have kids who know the shows you work on Aww. and they're the kids um, are impressed and excited so that's fun so I do have one question from a viewer someone okay. that responded to my Twitter post earlier today okay um, very recently actually um, Kent why did you bowl so bad tonight? That's uh, Sean. That's not funny. There's nothing on this piece of paper. <laughs> this is a setup. I've been set up. And I didn't bowl shitty. I bowled a 171 average over three games. My 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 average is 168. So that's three pins above my average. Your co bowler asked me to yeah, ask you that. Yeah. That's not funny. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Wait. You think you can bowl? You think well, you're a good bowler? 
Maybe. You think you can beat me? Maybe. I'll give you 100 pins. All right, let's and, do it. and if you win, I'll give you my three Emmy nominations. And what if you win? Um, I don't even need anything. Just the pride of knowing yeah. you won. All right, let's do it. All right, it's on. okay.